Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Jodie Foster tried to do nine accents at the same time? Elysium was directed by Neil Blomkamp. It stars Matt Damon, Jodie Foster, and Charlotte Copley. And it tells the story of, I think his name was Max, but Matt Damon's character who is really poor. He lives on Earth. Meanwhile, the upper class, like the 1%, live on this really fancy space station called Elysium. So he gets like radiation poisoning really, really bad. Like he needs medical attention, like severe medical attention. And on Elysium, they have these machines that can cure any disease like instantly. So what he does is he decides to try to break into Elysium, which he gets this um, kind of robot machine thing. It hooks up to his head, his arms, all his limbs, and it's going to help him. It has the code so he can hack into Elysium. But Jodie Foster plays kind of the head of security at Elysium, and then Charlotte Copley plays Kruger, who is pretty much like the main security guard who she calls in to stop him. That was a long plot summary. To start out, my expectations were too high because Neil Blomkamp has only directed one major movie and it was District 9, which is one of my all-time favorites. I loved every minute of it. So I was really, really pumped for this one. It was high concept. I'm, I'm a Matt Damon fan, so I was looking forward to this. They were too high. This wasn't a bad movie by any means, but I was just I was just disappointed in it in the end. Neil Blomkamp does a great job of just setting up this concept. Like, I accepted it. It completely just made sense. I'm just like, yeah, the rich people live up there. I didn't question it for one second. He did a great job of setting up the poorer part of the world and then the upper parts. He did a great job of doing that. Matt Damon was very good. Like, I did feel for him. He was supposed to be kind of just like this everyman, but... He his character didn't really develop much. He pretty much stayed the same from the beginning. Like, he kind of got a little bit less selfish, but not really. Jodie Foster, like I said in the beginning, she was not good at all. She, I couldn't, her accent just threw me and a lot of people off. Like, it sounded like French, Russian, Spanish, English, but she was trying to do them all at the same exact time. It was just, it sounded really weird. I did not like it at all. I didn't like her character. Her character didn't have anything to do, didn't really get a good sense of who she was as a character. But on the other hand, Charlotte Copley as Kruger was absolutely fantastic. He was the main character of District 9. He was in the A-Team as um, the fourth one that's not Liam Neeson, Bradley Cooper, or the black one. <laughs> but yeah, he's really scary. Like, I was scared by him. He's good at what he does, and... Uh, it starts out well, I'd say like act one is the highlight, but it just kind of starts to lose it, like it's concept, it was just so high concept, it didn't really know what to do with that concept. The third act, it just all started to kind of fall apart, like it became, instead of kind of more of a social commentary drama sci-fi, it was just all out action sci-fi, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you set it up like it's going to be like a drama and then you just kind of lose it all towards the end, it just, it doesn't really work out. The special effects were great, it did look really, really nice, which is kind of, it's a big budget, sci-fi, summer movie, it has to look good. So yeah, in the end, it just didn't live up to my expectations, or just kind of what the concept, I think, they could have done more with the concept, is what I'm saying. It was a really great idea, it just didn't flesh out very well. Neil, Pl Neil Blomkamp did direct it very well, Matt Damon was good, Charlotte Copley was good, Jodie Foster wasn't great, good special effects. Soundtrack, I don't remember anything about it, so it probably wasn't even that great. I'm gonna give Elysium a B plus. Up next, we have Before Midnight. Farewell, my friends.